our target is bleeding. Most bleeding, they are known as the backbone of several trials, and the outcome of the several cases, they mainly depend on the bleedings. If the bleedings are well targeted, there are high chances that the outcome would be in favor of the plaintiff or the defendant, as the case may be. Therefore, it is very important for the civil lawyer to have command on the case. The word pleading has not been defined in Section 2. If you, if you go to the Section 2 of Civil Procedure Code, the first term that has been defined in Section 2 is Code. Civil Procedure Code. But you would not find the word pleading in Civil Procedure Code. However, Order 6 Rule 1 gives a reference to pleadings. According to Order 6 Rule 1, pleading means plaint or written statement. Order 7 Rule 8, in Order 7 Rule 8, different contents, ingredients of plain and written statement have been given, but these words have not been defined anywhere in Civil Procedure Code. But when we, when we go through General Clause Act, the word planned and written statement have also not been defined in General Clause Act and thereafter the dictionary meaning are given to these words planned and written statement. When a word has not been found either in the Special Statute or General Clause Act, dictionary meanings are found in order to know the meaning of that word. The planned and written statement, they are defined in judgments of the superior courts. What is planned? Planned is a written document wherein a person approaches the court and he asks for the relief from the court in respect of a civil right against another person. The person who asks for relief he is known as plaintiff. Against whom a relief is sought he is known as defendant. Plaintiff and defendant. These are the two words and another word is used in section 9, 10 and 11 of CPC and that word is known as suit. In plain, the plaintiff asserts his right and the defendant has the opportunity to refute the assertions of the plaintiff to deny the assertion of the plaintiff through written statement. All those persons could be joined as plaintiffs who can sell in the same vote. If they claim the same rights against the defendants, if they have the same assertions against the defendants, in that case only those persons could be joined as plaintiffs. For example, we have three persons. The A says that the property which is, B, which is in the possession of the defendant, another person, D defendant, it is my property and I am owner to the extent of one third in this property. And if B also says that this property which, in the, which is in the possession of the defendant, it is my property and I am owner to my, and that he is owner to his, his share, and if same is the assertion of the C, only in that scenario, in that eventuality, all these persons could be joined as planted. For example, these two persons say A and B, that the property which is in the possession of the defendant, this property is our property, whereas the C says, no, that some portion of this property belongs to D, whereas the rest of the portions belong to A and B and he is the tenant. C says that I am the tenant, D has also right in this property and A and B have also right in this property. In that scenario, C cannot be joined as plaintiff with A and B because they don't have same assertions, identical assertions against the D. To cut it short, only those persons could be joined as plaintiff who have same assertions, who have same allegations against the defendant, against the adverse party. Now coming to the defendant, D, E, plus F. Now if this D, he does not accept the allegations, the assertions, the pleas of the plaintiff, this person, he is known as contesting defendant. Now it is a choice with E and F that whether they accept or deny the allegations of the plaintiff, it is 
their own free will. E and F don't need to have the same assertion, have the same plea as that of B. If, for example, if this E says that he partially accepts the claim of A and B, but he does not accept the claim of C, he can do so. He has got no nexus, he has got no connection with this person T. And as far as the, another defendant is concerned, this person, this defendant, he can also say that he accept the entire claim of A, B, C. When he says that he, he accept the entire claim of A, B, C, in that eventuality, this man, he is known as supporting defendant. And the written statement in which all the pleas of the plaintiff, plaintiff are accepted in total, that is known as cognitive. Cognitive is a body in which the defendant accepts all assertions of the plaintiff.